Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Daddy Views back with another video and iOS 17 has been released for a few weeks now and it's packed with new features and tricks that you must know and use on your device. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 new tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user must know while using their device running iOS 17. And we're just starting off with the control center. So on the control center of your device, you will have the ability to set a timer. Of course, you could do this previously, tap and hold here. You can set a timer simply by just like setting the time here and tap on start. But since with iOS 17, you have the ability to set multiple timers, you will now get this plus button that actually allows you to quickly set another timer directly from there. Now this email trick is probably one of the most useful new features that Apple has added to the email app on iOS 17. So let's say you want to send a link to someone and you have something like this right here. This is the link. What you can do with iOS 17, just head on to the link, copy the link, and then go back to the email and just select the word. In this case, we select the word link and we can just tap here, add link. And now we can just paste that link. We just copied right here, tap on return. And you can see right there, it says that this is the link. You don't need to actually have a long like link there. It just says this is the link. And of course, once you tap on it, it will actually open that link. When talking about the mail app, you can now customize the sounds of the email app. So you go to settings, sounds and haptics and here we'll have new email and send email we have the usual swoosh that we get we can just go ahead and just choose something else here so it's pretty cool that you can finally change the new email and also the send send email sound now this right here was probably one of the most annoying things about the keyboard on ios 16 Thankfully, Apple has actually changed this. So when you go to the emoji keyboard and you want to search for an emoji, you search for something here and right here it would show you the emoji keyboard like logo there. It would take you back to the emoji keyboard. And that was actually really annoying. It, it would just make a mess out of it. You had to actually tap three or four times just to get back to your keyboard. Now you have the dumb button right there, which just removes you out of the search section for the emoji keyboard and takes you right back to your keyboard. The predictive text has also changed on iOS 17. Now normally you would have three words here that are predictive words and you had to tap one of them to actually add it to your sentence. But now with iOS 17, when you're typing something, you will see right there like a shadow of the word of the complete word. So right here you can see right it does actually even highlight the word here. Now we can add that word not by tapping the word, of course we can do that, but we can just tap the space bar and it will add that word for us. Now this right here is pretty cool. The spotlight search on iOS 17 has been improved a lot. So if I search for something like set a timer, of course I can set a timer here, or what I can do is tap those three dots right there. It will give me some options and I can even go ahead and add this to my home screen as an icon. So tap right there to add to home screen and then just tap add and there we go. On the home screen, we now had a button to actually set a timer. We can just tap on it and it will take us to the timer here. We can, we can just go ahead and create a quick timer. You can, of course, set timers with a clock app on iOS. It has improved a lot. You can set down multiple timers. And of course, you will be able to set timers up to 24 hours. But what if you just need to set a timer more than 24 hours? Then you can do that, but you will be able to do that only through the shortcuts app. So just search for set a timer here on add action. And once you find it, tap right there, and it will actually give you the duration right here. And we can set it to any like minutes or hours we want. So if we tap right there, here we have the hours and we can set it if we want to for 200 hours, tap the dumb button. And whenever we want to start it, just tap the shortcut right there. You can see we now have a timer for 200 hours. Another really cool change to the timers on iOS 17, you can finally add labels to your timers. Now, of course, this is now very much needed because you will have multiple timers. If you just have like timers set at the same time, you have a few of them like turned on, that will be a mess if you don't have labels. So right here where it says label, when you want to create a new timer, you just tap where it says timer right there and just enter any new name you want. Now, finally, Apple has made a great change when it comes to screenshots for websites. You know, on iOS, you can take a screenshot and you can, of course, choose full page right there, but this will be saved as a PDF file. 
it will be saved only on your files app. But what you can do now with iOS 17 is tap the share button and tap on options right here. And you can choose a single image, tap done, and this will be now saved as a single image on the photo library of your iPhone. You just tap save your photos right there and you're good to go. On the music app on iOS 17, you can add multiple songs to the queue pretty easily. All you have to do is just go to the playlist or an album and just tap hold one of them and you can select multiple of those you can see i have two selected there and i just have to drag them right here you can see that turns green it basically adds them to the queue right here it's easy as that you can see now they're on the playing next section right there and we'll start playing right of the song we're listening to Apple has made another great change on the clock app. With iOS 17, when you have an alarm set, but you already may be waking up and you're into your device, you won't hear the alarm go off at all. Because of course, iOS recognizes that you have unlocked your device, you're into your device, and you can see it will show the alarm only at the top right there on the dynamic island. We can snooze from here or we can tap the X button to remove it, but of course it won't ring out loud so it knows that you're actually already into your device. With iOS 17, when you go to customize your lock screen, you will be able to change the font of the clock right there. So of course make it thinner or thicker. But if you just wanna go back to the default, it will of course be quite hard here to just like guess where it was at the beginning. All you have to do if you're just somewhere here, you just tap on the font button right there and it takes you back to the default as easy as that. Now, if you own the new iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, you know that when you go to the control center, you will have now a button there for the silent mode. Now, that button actually will replace the screen mirroring button. It used to be right there. Now it's gone. It's replaced with a silent button. Well, if you want to add it back to your control center, you will need to go to your settings, go under control center here, and you will find that button screen mirroring right here. Tap on it and you will get back the screen mirroring button on your control center now we have a few changes here on markup as well so if we take a screenshot here and go to markup something you will notice that it, if we add some text here it actually now has way more options if i go to the font here you can see now i can choose between like hundreds of different fonts right here which is really cool previously you had like three different fonts that you could choose from that's really great also the text has now a sub menu so if i tap on these, these like three dots right there i can cut copy duplicate or delete that text from here and when it comes to text when it's sending a text using siri you will now have multiple choices so if i just ask siri to send a text send a message to test m you can see right here it gives me the option to actually choose the messaging app that i want to use to send this text so based on of course the numbers that you have for that contact and of course the apps that you have installed on your device it will give you here a list of different like apps which you can choose from and of course send them the text via that app now this right here is really interesting. Now when you go to the password section on the settings app and you want to add a new password, you will of course have here the website username and the password and of course the notes as well. But now you will be able to also add a title for your password. Moving on into the Safari settings. So on Safari, we have the new profiles and you can actually customize the icon and the color for that profile from the settings here. But this won't just like be an icon or a color for that profile. This will customize the whole start page of Safari. So if I select these colors right here in that icon, when I go to Safari and I enter that profile, you can see right here, it will customize completely. You can see the icon right there, which indicates, of course, which profile I'm using. And it also has that icon in that color on the background of Safari. Now here we have a few changes on Safari here that you need to know. When you go to Safari and you go to the settings, make sure you go right here to advanced and what you will find here is the privacy settings which have been moved here. So advanced tracking and fingerprint protection, you can turn on advanced tracking and fingerprint protection directly from here. Choose all browsing. I think that's the best to choose from. And also, if you want to block cookies, you will find that button now in this section. It has actually been moved. It used to be on the front page of the Safari settings. Now they're both here. So if you just want to change them, you know that they can, they can be found right here. 
Safari also has some new changes when it comes to clearing the history. You tap on clear history and website data, and you will find way more options. So you will have the profiles here, you can choose for which profile you want to clear the history, and also you will have a button that lets you close all the tabs once the history is, closed, is cleared. So you clear the history and also close all the tabs that you have opened automatically. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are more than 20 new tips and tricks that I believe every iOS 17 user must must know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.